So hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 50 of our Aston Martin Save here on the channel. Now, if you didn't watch the last episode, my god, where were you? A monsoon down under and the weather was absolutely ridiculous, but we did manage to salvage a podium for Pierre Gasly and P5 for Fernando Alonso. Max Verstappen, three races, three wins. Looks very, very dominant so far this season. What does that mean for the standings? Well, constructors-wise, we are in P3. We did drop a position to Ferrari, Red Bull on 90 points at the moment. Driver standings wide, no surprise to see Max Verstappen at the top. Carlos Sainz in P2, but Pierre Gasly is in a title fight early doors. There's not too much difference between us. Max Verstappen just looks like he's in a league of his own, but hopefully once the car gets developed, as we are developing it, we should start to close that gap. We've developed it a little bit further as well before this next race because we've got a new rear wing on the car for Imola. So, the Autodromo Internazionale Enzo Edino Ferrari, that sounded good, even with my Yorkshire accent. Yorkshire Italian very much does mix. Uh, first Grand Prix in 1980, 63 laps round here. Expected strategy is a one stop from medium onto hard. Car attributes, low speed and medium speed cornering. We're pretty decent at that. I expect us to be in the fight this weekend. So, I'm going to get all the practice sessions done and we'll see you in qualifying. The hills of Tuscany are green to the south. But here in Imola, the air is red hot. Welcome to Ferrari's turf for the Emilia-Romagna Grand Prix. The track has been around since the 60s, but the first official Formula One race was held here in 1980. Let's see what excitement lies ahead this year. This is Imola, and it's an old school track with plenty of elevation changes and lots of corners. There's only one DRS zone here, but it follows the long straight right before Tamburello and should see plenty of action. At this early stage in the season, there are still plenty of opportunities for things to change. In this sport, there simply are no guarantees. Okay then, let's get to it. Do you join us? Checkered flag in Q2, Fernando Alonso set a pretty decent lap on his first run. But is it going to be enough to get in front of Q3? Pierre Gasly got stuck in traffic behind Danny Ricciardo. So Pierre Gasly had a shocking first lap. Fernando Alonso crosses the line. It's only good enough for P9. Pierre Gasly needed a massive improvement. Pierre Gasly was P2 in, uh, in, in practice. So Pierre Gasly looked quick all weekend. Fernando Alonso is on the bubble. Albon and more importantly Perez. He's in, and Sergio Perez is going to knock Fernando Alonso out of qualifying. We've only got one car to, to worry about in Q3, and that is Pierre Gasly. And that's also going to lose us some sponsorship bonus as well, which is not ideal. P12 for Fernando Alonso. Let's see how high Pierre Gasly can get in Q3. And you join us back in Q3. Pierre Gasly had a stonky lap on a scrub set of tyres. He were in P3 before we set off here. He's up to the line. He's green through the first and second sectors and comes in at P5 for Pierre Gasly. Let's just fast forward to the end of the session. Is he going to get beat by Perez? Perez is the one we're looking at um, to see if he improves. It doesn't look like he did. So Pierre Gasly will be starting P5 on the third row of the grid. George Russell in the Mercedes. Mercedes have looked very quick here all weekend. George Russell is on pole position for the Imola Grand Prix. Let's have a look at the strategies. We may consider engine penalties for Fernando Alonso. Right, we've been eyeing up the strategy. Fernando Alonso's got a couple of pairs of fresh soft compound tyres that may come in very useful. Um, but strategy-wise, not looking particularly quick, as you can see, seven seconds slower for the two stops. So I think what we're going to do is we've had a couple of safety cars at this circuit as well. We're going to start on both on the standard strategy, medium onto hard, and then we'll address it from there. Fifth for Pierre Gasly. It's going to be a very different race from them both. Fernando Alonso, if he can make up places early, that would be ideal. But fifth and twelve, let's get to five red lights for the Imola Grand Prix. The crowd are on their feet in anticipation of this. The Emilia Romagna Grand Prix. It's lights out and away we go. And away we go and straight away we'll keep an eye on this battle at the front. I think George Russell leading away. From pole position, Max Verstappen going for the move early doors. Are we going to get a new race leader? Verstappen on the outside, Russell on the inside. Verstappen looks like he's just about got the job done. We'll keep an eye on this from George Russell's point of view. Pierre Gasly's off the plate to Valtteri Bottas early doors. But Max Verstappen has the lead in him. The Pierre Gasly is boxing some train here. He's got the inside line. He's going to get that position back 
of the Valtteri Bottas, a driver that we very much coveted um, in the summer. I had a little look at him, but never quite got him. Uh, we decided to stick with our driver pairing. But if we have a look in front of us, we've got Leclerc and Sainz, both on the hard compounder tyre. I would be tempted now with uh, with P.A. Gasly to see if we can use these tyres and get past these Ferraris, because we are going to be quicker early doors. Meanwhile, Fernando Alonso not having much fun either. He's lost a position to Sebastian Vettel early doors. This is a difficult uh, starting further bike. It is, can be very difficult to pass. Especially when the cars, in qualifying, there was not that much difference now between the cars. The upgrades that certain teams are going to doing, making big, big differences to their performance. So as much as we're improving our car, we're still having to work very, very hard to work our way up the grid. But we'll, we'll finish lap one with Max just happening from Russell Peter. Then come signs of Leclerc, Bottas and Gasly using that ERS to try and attack the guys in front. Ocon, Perez, Magnussen in P9. Norris and Ricardo in P10 in the Marlborough McLaren. Now Lap 6, Valtteri Bottas. As you can see, Pierre Gasly's been looking after his tyres, but Bottas locks up and goes into the gravel pit. That's got him out of the way. Now we've got to attack these Ferraris. They're not happy in the Mercedes garage, as you wouldn't expect. I bet Toto Wolff's throwing some headphones about. But Pierre Gasly now has got to deploy. Get back in the DRS of these two, and maybe we can start to make some moves. If you remember back to last season, Pierre Gasly was leading the Grand Prix before he smashed into the wall and cost himself a race win here. I'm hoping today that can be rather different. Fernando Alonso is having a difficult race. He's still tight in P13. Unlucky for some, certainly unlucky for Fernando this afternoon. Not going too well at all. Max has happened and George Russell very much in a league of their own. We've got to sort these Ferraris out pretty sharpish. Lap 6. Yeah, Gasly on lap 8. got past one Ferrari. Coming on to lap 9. He's got DRS on Charles Leclerc who ran wide. He's deploying DRS. Charles Leclerc defending well. Can Pierre Gasly get a move done here? Goes around the outside. Beautiful work from Pierre Gasly. He's now going to be told to use the tyres, use the fuel and use the battery and try and pull away before the next DRS detection point. If he can do that, he'll be running in the league of his own, Pierre Gasly, for a little bit, and that might aid us with strategy a bit further on. We'll just take another look at this replay. Uh, you did see it on the live cam, as you can see the Ferrari behind, but that is a beautiful move from Pierre Gasly, round the outside of Charles Leclerc. Did we enjoy it in the Aston Martin garage? We're not going to get a clip of that, but he's been told now, try and push away from Charles Leclerc, and then we'll assess the race from there. Meanwhile, Fernando Alonso is now in P12, um, just ticking over behind Sebastian Vettel. Not much Fernando can seem to do at this moment, but Pierre Gasly, it's all about dropping the DRS of Charles Leclerc. He's currently stands at eight tenths. Can he do it before the next DRS detection zone? Nine tenths, nine and a half tenths. He's running out of battery. He's got it to one second, Charles uh, Pierre Gasly, Charles Leclerc, one second's bike, and at the detection zone, there is no ERS, uh, DRS, sorry, for Charles Leclerc. We'll harvest down here, and then go again, but great work there, Pierre Gasly up into P3. Lap 12, we couldn't break the DRS for more than a couple of laps, we had to use all this battery, and that Ferrari, that beautiful chrome Ferrari, metallic chrome Ferrari, has got past us. And now, this is not a good position for Pierre Gasly. He's on the faster compound of tyre, but the tyres are wearing, obviously, quicker than the hards. But we're going to charge the battery up for a couple of laps, and then we'll try and do it again. Meanwhile, Fernando Alonso, there's literally nothing I can tell you about. Uh, Verstappen and Russell at the front are in a league of their own. Charles Leclerc, P3, then Gasly, 4. Steins fifth, Esteban Ocon having a cracking race in the uh, Renault Alpine in P6, Perez P7, Norris P8, Magnussen in the Haas in P9, Sebastian Vettel in P10, Danny Ricciardo is now the man in front of Fernando Alonso, the two Audis of Albon and Hamilton, 13 and 14, and the Williams, the poor old Williams at the back. So are just racing on their own, lap 13. Lap 20, we've come back for a check-in because Pierre Gasly, the Ferraris are long gone, um, we're back with Esteban Ocon for P5, in which Pierre, Pierre Gasly currently occupies. Um, Fernando Alonso is battling with Danny Ricciardo for P11. Uh, he's got Vettel just in front of him then, so that's a battle for a point. Uh, we'll have a little look at this overtaking move from Gasly. I'm guessing it was just the BRS down the start finish straight, which it was. Um, they've, been, they've been swapping positions for a couple of laps now, uh, but Pierre Gasly getting that done before the first chicane. We're having a look at strategy. There's not much we can do on strategy. We don't believe to really affect this. We might try and run a little bit longer with Fernando. That is something we've considered. 
maybe use Fernando to back the cars up, uh, especially the Sappen and Russell. We don't know if that's going to work with the Ferraris, but obviously Fernando's got his own race to run as well. Uh, it's, it's a difficult situation at this moment. I think P5 is probably the maximum because the Ferraris obviously got to switch onto the medium compounded tyre in the second stint. So. Long way to go in this one. Safety car would help us here. It really would help us. We're sort of praying for that. But Pierre Gasly does have the fastest lap of the Grand Prix at this moment in time. So let's end that little segment on a positive. Lap 26, Pierre Gasly is in. And so is Max Verstappen. We think, we think we've found him a nice gap to come into just in front of the Williams. We're hoping the undercut is going to work for us. It's not a great stop from our guys again. Uh, optimal pit lap for Fernando. We'll assess that in a moment. I'm more interested in where Pierre Gasly is going to come out here. Mick Schumacher was the target to get him out in front of them. I think we've done that pretty comfortably. We've got Lando Norris behind us. Uh, who's going to come out? He's going to come out behind the Latifi, but that's a nice gap to get him into. And Pierre Gasly will now be trying the undercut to see if he can gain a few seconds and catch up with the leaders. We will assess Fernando Alonso's position very, very shortly. Lap 26. Lap 27, next lap. Fernando Alonso is in to the pit lane. George Love Russell is out. Um, he looks like he's got a nice stop and he's now just behind Max Verstappen. Again, 2.7 seconds for Fernando. We're expecting him to practically be at the back of the grid here, Fernando. We'll see what happens when he comes out. Let's have a look who's coming down the pit lane. Uh, coming down the start for the straight. One new show, Bottas. Is he going to come out in front of this? It would be very helpful if he did. And he's not managed to come out in front of Albon. He's on the grass, Fernando Alonso. But he is down in front of Stroll and Bottas, which is key. Lewis Hamilton now behind Fernando. Pierre Gasly in P11. He's got Nicholas Latifi in front of him. He's in front of Norris. But he's got a big, big gap to Russell and Latifi. Lap 27, Charles Leclerc leads from Carlos Sainz and two Ferraris. Yet to stop on the hard compound top seven. Yet to make the pit stops. Lap 29, Pierre Gasly manages to get past Nicholas Latifi um, safely as well, which is uh, very important. But he also sets the new fastest lap of the Grand Prix, which is uh, very, very good signs for us. He's going to be, these Ferraris are the ones we're looking to catch. He's got seven seconds to George Russell, though, which could be very, very difficult. Meanwhile, Fernando Alonso, from his point of view, my word, it's busy back here, and these two Williams are causing a lot of, lot of pain. He's going to make the move on Alexander Albon, but Fernando Alonso has got a lot of work to do to get some points today. But he's made the move on Albon. Is he going to make a move into these, into this chicane on uh, Sonoda and McShumacher? No, he isn't. He may go up the inside here. Is he going to? No, he cuts him off well there, Sonoda. Sonoda defending well for P14, but Alonso, a lot of work to do. He joins us back on lap 39 because, as you can see on the left-hand side, Pierre Gasly has managed to catch back up to George Russell. Danny Ricciardo and Vettel have been moving roadblocks for these cars in front. But Stafford and Russell's got caught up in it, and Pierre Gasly is now well back in the fight, it must be said. Meanwhile, Fernando Alonso, you can talk about miserable afternoons. He's stuck behind the Williams, and he simply cannot get past them. What a shocking, shocking afternoon this is turning out to be for Fernando. But Pierre Gasly is in the hunt for a, what, top five, top six maybe? But he's very much in there now. So Pierre Gasly, a lot of work to do. But he is back with George Russell, who was P2 at that moment in time. Albon's coming in. Is that the first one of the hard tyres to come in? We'll keep an eye on signs and Leclerc when they decide to pit. But at this moment in time, Pierre Gasly, P10, could be in for some decent points. Lap 44, and as you can see, some of the front guys are in. Leclerc's in, as is Perez, Ocon now, where are they going to come out? Danny Ricciardo's finally in, he's caused us a lot, a lot of problems. So far, Charles Leclerc coming out with the pit lane. This is going to be very interesting to see where Pierre Gasly comes out here. He's up to P7. Norris gets out in front, Pierre Gasly, he's on the back of the Ferrari and does manage to get out in front of Charles Leclerc, who is now on the soft compound attire. Pierre Gasly is going to have a lot, a lot of work to do to stay with the Ferrari, but if the Ferrari does get past, he may be able to drag us up to the cars in front. Fernando Alonso, still down in P15, can do nothing about these Williams. What a sorry day. Thank goodness one of them has finally gone into the pits, lap 44.
On lap 45, but call off signs. He's in sure the player's overtaken Pierre Gasly. As you would expect, we'll keep an eye on this overtake because he did him in really one of the perfect positions because that now means we're going to get DRS down this next start finish straight just as his teammate is coming to the pits. Carlos Sainz is coming out of the pit lane. We can see the Haas guys there getting ready for the soft compounded tyre for Sebastian Vettel. Where is Carlos Sainz going to come out? Charles Leclerc and Pierre Gasly are coming down the start finish straight. Charles Leclerc's out. Pierre Gasly, is he going to manage to get him? He doesn't look like he's going to do. He's got a Ferrari in front of him and he gets past. Big, big move for Pierre Gasly. But he doesn't look like he can stop with Charles Leclerc at this moment in time. Those tyres are going to die off towards the end, but so are ours. Um, P5, P6 possibly looking like it, but Sergio Perez, that Red Bull, is going to be charging towards him as well. This could be a very, very difficult afternoon for Pierre Gasly to make any real points here this afternoon. But Fernando Alonso now is in a race of his own, lap 45. Lap 59, we can show you some action from Fernando Alonso overtaking Lewis Hamilton. Lovely work. Gets the elbows out. Hamilton, Alonso and Bottas fighting it out for P12. Not what I expected to see this afternoon. If we just have a quick look at what's going on, apart from that, um, we've got Sonoda locking up in turn. So Verstappen's leading. He looks like he's going to win another Grand Prix. Charles Leclerc, Carlos signed second and third. It's Pierre Gasly running wide on turn six. Let's have a little look at this. Pierre Gasly under a little bit of pressure from that Red Bull behind, and that is not going to help his cause because he's now, Sergio Perez, he's three tenths of a second. Um, he's on the soft compound tyre, but they are pretty, pretty worn. So the crossover point, Gasly might now have the better tyres for the next four laps. Um, Norris, has, Norris has had a cracking race in the McLaren. Uh, he's currently on for P5 here this afternoon in the Marlboro McLaren, looking very, very nice indeed. Uh, Magnussen P9, Vettel P10. The soft compound tyres are dying off. Pierre Gasly, a little bit of work to do here to secure P5. Uh, so to secure P6, maybe even P7. It's going to be a difficult last few laps for Pierre Gasly. As you see, the last few corners, Sergio Perez managed to get past him on P6. Pierre Gasly is going to have to settle for P7 unless Esteban Ocon can spoil the party. Yeah. Uh, he can't. P7 for Pierre Gasly. It's been a very, very bad day, this for Aston Martin at Imola. Um, Norris has done very well. Fernando Alonso wasn't brilliant uh, in qualifying. Didn't get the qualifying position. And ultimately, he's going to finish 26 seconds behind Danny Ricciardo. What a disappointing afternoon this has been for Fernando Alonso as we just ride on board with him to come up to the line. Verstappen dominance again. He doesn't look like anybody, especially in the early part of this season, can keep up with Max. We'll just fast forward to the end, but that is as disappointing a Grand Prix as we've had this season. Uh, Max Verstappen finishes first. Sainz, Leclerc, Russell, Lando Norris in P5. Great work from him. Perez P6, Gasly P7, Ocon, Magnussen and Vettel make up the top 10. Drivers standings wise, Max Verstappen extends his lead once again. He's now on 102 points after four races. Four races, four wins. Uh, Sainz in second, Petter Gasly in third. Constructors wise, Red Bull. Um, at the top of the charts, as you would expect, Ferrari in second. We do hold on to P3, but that, my friends, was a very, very poor race for us. We must do better, we must improve the car, and we've got to get a little bit cuter on strategy as well. Something I will reflect on. I hope you've enjoyed that. That's our 50th episode of this series. Shame it were a bit of a damn squid in the end, but they can't all be classics. We hope to see you on the next one. Ta-ra.